Baby, pull it off for the city. Baby, you're the realest. Baby, probably got a couple million. Baby, I ain't four or five killers. Baby, got children. Baby, probably still a drug dealer. Baby, in a trap, you're a rapper. Baby, making classes. Baby, in the hood, getting angry. Baby, keep it real with these people. Baby, like a preacher. Baby, stop, still got a reefer. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are going to be doing how to sound like little baby on GarageBand Mac. I know it's been a while, but we are back and better than ever starting it off with little baby. So if this is something that should work, you can apply these sim similar principles on iOS, on your iPad or iPhone. But if you do want me to do a separate video just for how to sound like little baby on iOS specifically, let me know down in the comments below. And if it does get a lot of likes, I will go and um, I'll do it. So yeah, let's get straight into this video. So the first thing that I did was go into my channel EQ. So the, the demo that I did earlier was recorded on my on my Beats uh, Beats Solo 3 aux mic. So on the, just on the aux cord, on the, the microphone on that. Um, but right now this voiceover is on my Yeti mic. So um, the EQ will vary different, vary based on what mic you're using, but this is pretty, this should be pretty general for most of your mics if you're not using a super high-end mic. So the song I did was Baby from um, from Quality Control's new collab album with a bunch of their uh, rappers that are under that music label. So it's a pretty good album. Um, this is one of my favorite songs on it. So um, first thing when you're using your EQ, um, make sure you go all the way to this, uh, this 15K mark. You're gonna push it down a little bit because you don't want all the super, super high frequencies that's gonna give you Kind of the super like like tinny unnecessary sound but with one thing with little baby that if you want to get more of that like he has more of i guess a brighter uh shinier sound especially in this in this track um i boosted up the highs over here um and then keep your 2.5k boosted as well because that's always important for almost whatever mic you're doing and then for this if you're using a more higher end mic you don't need to um lower this as much but for a lower end mic definitely you can bring it down at around the 500 mark and then over here give it a little bump around the 150 mark just to give it a little a little low end um just for a kick at the bottom all right so that's pretty much it for your channel eq for your compressor things should be pretty standard for what we usually do so your attack isn't going to be um super high uh, if you want to make it higher, you can because you don't want a lot of transparency in your voice, but you don't want none. So usually I would say 5 to 15 milliseconds, but um, I right now have it at around, I have it at 5 more on the lower end of that. But don't put it at 0. Um, and then your ratio, keep it around anywhere from 3 to 5. Um, you don't want it to over compress things, but you don't want to under compress things as well. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do next thing we're gonna do is go into our pitch control so if you don't know how to get to pitch control go watch my video how to sound how to auto tune in GarageBand Mac but when you go into your pitch control you're just gonna keep it at whatever auto tune level what however what level you need to be for for you um, I just kept it at a hundred uh, if you want to like not put as much because that's your sound go fully ahead do that it's just a little baby if you're trying to get a sound similar to the little baby's vibe he does use auto-tune that's part of his sound so definitely you want to put some auto-tune in there to get um kind of that the robotic sound to your voice so the next thing that we're going to do is platinum verb this is one of the most important parts of the little baby sound uh it's our normal reverb that we always use so I did cut the reverb time to one second. You can put it a lower, a little bit higher, but if you cut the reverb time to one second and put the wet up, you're gonna get more ambience rather than space. So if you put the, the reverb time all the way out here, it's gonna give you more space and more like lots of like, like booming, more like picture like a large hall, like a, a cathedral sound, whereas if you, make the ambience it's going to sound more like a smaller hall a little club sound and it's going to pretty much boost lower the time that the reverb has so if you if you put it put it if you put the reverb time up it's going to give you more space and wet it's going to be more space reverb time down and put the wet up it's going to give you more ambience so that's definitely what i tried to do here if you put the reverb um up time up for a lot of space with little baby you're gonna get a lot of sounds like extraneous sounds that you don't really want and same thing why i have the high cut at 5900 hertz because you don't want that really shiny shiny reverb coming out in the in the high frequencies which will not sound good 
The last thing I did was use a directional mixer, direction, sorry, directional mixer, just to kind of um, I even things out a little bit, uh, spread spread the track out so it's not as harsh. You don't want to put it super. I think it goes all the way up to two. You don't want to put the spread all the way out, and you don't even have to use a directional mixer. I just like to use it just to give it a little little bit of a more cleaner sound. Um, I think it's under imaging over here. Uh, yeah, next to direction mixer. So what it's going to do, it's going to, in a stereo image, whether you're using headphones or, or two speakers, it's going to spread out the track between the two, the two, the left and the right pans. Like the, it's going to pan it out more. Um, whereas if you put it all the way, the spread will be less if you don't use a directional mixer, but that's totally up to you. It's just a little color that I like to add just for, um, for some of my tracks that I use if I want to sound cleaner. All right, and that is going to be it for this video, guys. Um, that is how to sound like a little baby on GarageBand, how to do it with your Mac, and this should work for your iPhone or iPad as well. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos coming out soon. And as always, have a great day. Peace.